streets gonna always be fucked. Yeah. 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 Let's go out the Holly yeah. Grove. Okay. Now put the mic on the map if you won't get on. Now put the spitter on the map if you won't get on. Now put the pole on the map if you won't get on. Say put the feet on the map if you won't get on. Say put E I on the map if you won't get on. K put the Drew on the map if you won't get on. Say put the Mark on the map if you won't get on. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a good looking rapper. I ain't trying to stunt. What's up, y'all? And welcome to my channel. I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome collective, every one of every zodiac sign, is doing well. So we're about to get into this reading, y'all, and see what it is that Spirit wants you to know. Now, if you guys watched the last reading, you saw that there's a third party that despises you, okay? They're holding a grudge against you, baby, and they despise you because they've been getting readings about you and your person and this connection. So it's like they know what's going to happen they know what's coming in the future but they feel somehow that they're going to block or they want to block this opportunity they want to block this new beginning from happening between you and your person so let's pull some messages here we're going to pull some messages from my karmic tales and see what's going on now if you find this some resonate don't forget to like share subscribe and comment if you're interested in a personal i am running a special all the information you guys will be in the description box below Let's get into it. Mm. So for some of you, they argue with this third party every damn day. See, in the past, you know, shit was cool. Like, this third party could do shit and get away. You know, but now it's like this person's starting to stick up for themselves. You know what I'm saying? They're starting to stand their ground with this third party and all that little slick shit and all the things that they were doing in the past. Like, they're not going for this shit no more, okay? So they're arguing with this person every single day. Your person in this third party, they argue every single damn day, okay? All right, tell us more, Holly Spirit. What does the collective need to know? Mm. So for some of you guys, there was some type of spell work that was done in this connection. So the whole reason why your person chose this third party over you was because this third party did some type of black magic, did some type of spell work, okay? Whether they continue to say things, they could have been doing kitchen magic, putting stuff in this person's food, like they did something to keep this person stuck. But see, in the past, like I said, thank you, Spirit. Remember I was saying, you know, the things that this third party did in the past, they used to let this shit slide. So they ain't let this shit slide no more. And so they argue every time the third party do something, they call them out on their shit. You know what I'm saying? So this third party feel like, damn, my spell work must ain't working. Because in the past, this person was acting like that. You know what I'm saying? I used to be able to do this and that. And it wasn't no problem here. All right, tell us more. This is why they mad. Because they see there is a change in this person. You know what I'm saying? Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my collective. I love you guys. When they don't reply to your text, they're with me. So some of you guys could wonder, you know, when your person hadn't been replying to your text, and this could be going on now, this could have happened in the past, okay? But when they don't reply to your text, they could be dealing with this third party. They can be dealing with a third party. They don't necessarily have to be this one. For some of you, your person could have had multiple third parties, multiple karmics in their life, okay? Tell us more, Holy Spirit. What is it that my beautiful and my handsome collective, what do they need to know? There could have been kids involved in this situation. So they use the kids as an excuse to keep them around. Oh, you know, little John John got baseball practice. I need you to help me do this. You know what I'm saying? They sick. I'm tired. You know, just using the kids as an excuse to have this person come over, to be seen with them. You know, to still probably keep up this image that they still this happy family or whatnot. They may not want people to know they separated or, you know, things ain't the same like it used to be. Tell us more, Holly Spirit. For some of you, this third party was their first love. Okay, so this is the first, first person that they could have told they loved them. This could have been like, you know, high school love. They could have been with this person for a long time. But they feel like because they were their first love, like, you know, they got some type of rank or some type of power or something in this connection. All right, tell us more. Messages for my collective. I love you guys. If anything is resonating, don't forget to like this video. What does the collective need to know? Mm, okay, so some of you guys, this third party, feel like it's time. They think it's time to reach out and let you know who they are. Okay, and my collective saying we don't give 
No fucks, bitch. We already know who you is and what. What's your point? What you got to say? You know? So this third party could be feeling kind of froggy, you know, and now they want to leap. Now they want to jump. Now they want to say something. They got something. They got to get off their chest and whatnot. Keep them. Keep that shit to themselves. We don't give no fuck. All right. So let's pull some more. So this person want to reach out and let you know who they are. Okay. For some of you guys, I'm going to let you know that you will always be a side piece. For some of you, this third party can hit you up if they know your number. Okay. They could try to reach out. Social media, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Trying to talk shit, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make themselves feel better. You can tell that they feeling like shit that they really just trying to pump themselves up and they're going to be talking cash money shit. Just, man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I feel like this person is going to be talking shit trying to make you feel bad. Like, you ain't nothing. You don't mean nothing to them. I'm this, I'm that. I'm their wife, I'm that. It don't matter shit. Why you calling me then if I ain't nothing? You know what I'm saying? If I ain't reached out to you not one time, right? Tell us more, Holy Spirit. What is the collective need to know? Ooh, for some of you guys, there could have been a third party that was pregnant. But they done decided that they are not going to keep this baby. So there could have been someone who got pregnant to keep this reunion or to keep you and this person apart. But they, you know what I'm saying, they decided not to keep this baby. Ooh, come on, through spirit. What did I say earlier? Remember I said they want to keep up this image. You know what I'm saying? They, they using the kids to keep this person around because they want to keep, the, keep up this image of being a perfect couple. Look at this. They don't want perfect people to know. On the outside, they look like the perfect couple. And they want to keep up that same image. Remember I said that earlier? And look at this. I am not the only karmic in his life. His or her life. Y'all take it how it resonates. These when I first made my cards, y'all, okay? So for some of you, like I said, your person could have had multiple third parties. Multiple karmas in their life, okay? This person saying, baby, they is not the only one. So don't be stressing about me because they not the only one. All right, y'all. So let's see who this reading is about. If anything, if anything resonated, don't forget to like this video. All right. So you can be a Sag. This can be your sign. We got Sag, Aries, Pisces. Heavy Sag, Aries, Pisces. We got Scorpio, Cancer, Sag, Virgo. We got heavy Aries, Libra, and Taurus. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.